Hey guys, it's Adrian over BHA here bringing you another video. This video is going to be on Tasker. So I don't play around with Tasker all that much, but I ran into an issue uh, with an old tablet that I use in my office. I use it as a touchpad, and the problem I ran into was uh, that for some reason, every day or every couple of days, it seemed like the camera started having problems where it would not uh, be usable by the tablet until I rebooted it. And since I use fully kiosk uh, browser on that tablet so that I can use it as a touchpad, I like having the camera uh, to be able to use as a motion sensor and whatnot. So I thought I could uh, probably remotely uh, reboot the tablet or something like that ever so often, but uh, this might be an easier way to do it. it would be just to load Tasker on here and have Tasker schedule a reboot every night. So kind of a cool idea, just something quick I thought I could put together and show you guys uh, something you could do with Tasker. So let's check it out. So obviously this video is going to be for an Android tablet. So if you're using an iPad or something like that, this is not going to work. There's a ton of stuff you could do with Tasker and uh, lots of features. If you guys haven't played around with Tasker at all, then you might want to might want to check that out. And if you guys are interested, maybe we'll do another video just on Tasker and all the cool stuff that you can do with it. So let's do a quick run through of everything we're going to cover in this video. So of course, uh, for starters, we're going to just kind of go over some prerequisites that you'll need to already have done on your tablet for this to work. Uh, once we do that, then we're going to install Tasker on our Android tablet. Once we have it installed, uh, then we're going to uh, create a task. And once we create a task, we are going to uh, create a profile for that task. And then, of course, lastly, I'll show you what that looks like in action. So let's get started. All right, so again, as I mentioned there is a major prerequisite that you'll need to have done on your tablet for this to work properly and that is that your tablet will need to be rooted in order for a tasker to have permissions to uh, to do everything um, it will need to have root permissions on your tablet to be able to reboot it and everything my tablet's pretty old in fact it's running like lollipop or something like that so it's like 5.1.1 pretty old uh, version of the android os so it's been rooted for quite a while and I didn't want to go into details on how to root a tablet just because every model and version, everything else is so different that uh, it's just too hard to keep up with all that. But uh, once you have your tablet rooted, then we're ready to move on to the next step. Uh, so, of course, uh, this being an Android tablet, we're just going to go to the Google Play Store to download uh, the latest version of Tasker. Uh, as you can see here, I've already got it downloaded and installed, but you would basically just search for Tasker and hit the install link to install it to your uh, Android tablet. Once you got Tasker installed, we're ready to move on to the next step. All right, so first things first, uh, when you're using Tasker, uh, is you want to create a task. And so uh, for this test, of course, we're talking about uh, setting up a scheduled reboot for our uh, tablet. So um, we would go to tasks and then hit the plus down here in the bottom corner. Uh, we're going to give it a name. I'm just going to call it reboot. And then once we have that in there, then we're going to hit the uh, plus again to add an action. And so we're looking for system. And then under system, we're going to choose reboot. And at that point, uh, everything else can stay the same or be the default. So we'll go ahead and hit the back arrow on that. And that's pretty much it for setting up your task. The only other thing you need to do is you need to uh, make sure you hit this checkbox up here in the top corner. Um, I don't actually show that here in the video, but if you don't hit this checkbox, then it will not save it. And of course, this task will be removed and you'll have to start all the way over. So make sure you hit that checkbox and we're ready to move on to the next step. All 
All right, so we've uh, finished our task. Now we're going to create what they call a profile for that task. Uh, to me, it's more like a schedule, but I guess depending on how you set it up, um, it could be something other than a schedule. So we're going to create a profile. We'll hit the plus down here in the bottom corner. And for this one, we're going to choose time. And then, of course, for the time, uh, pick the time of day that you want this uh, reboot to happen or this task to happen. Um, since uh, I'm testing it here now this morning, I'm going to do it at uh, 9.55 a.m. just to kind of give you an idea, but uh, probably want to set it up for the middle of the night. I usually have mine set up for about 2 a.m. I usually just put a one, uh, one minute differential there, so from 9.55 to 9.56. Uh, as soon as it hits 9.55, it'll immediately reboot. Now we want to assign a task to our profile. So, of course, we just created that reboot task, so that's the one that we're going to select here. And that's pretty much it. All you need to do again is make sure you hit this checkbox up in the corner uh, so that it will save this uh, profile. And then uh, you're ready to move on to that last step. All right, so just to kind of give you an idea of what would uh, happen, uh, you know, I set this up for 9.55 this morning. And uh, now I'm recording this tablet. It's 9.54 on here. As you can see, at 9.55, it shuts off and uh, starts to uh, reboot. So that's pretty much it. Set it up in the middle of the night or something to have a scheduled reboot, and you'll be good to go. That's the end of the video, guys. This was a quick little video. I just wanted to run through and kind of show you something you could, cool you could do with Tasker, especially if you have an Android tablet in your house that you use as a touch panel. Uh, it's probably good to reboot it ever so often uh, if you leave it up all the time. Let's do a quick run through everything we covered in this video. So for starters, we uh, kind of went over some prerequisites uh, that you would need for this to work properly. Uh, once that was done, we installed Tasker on our Android tablet. Uh, once that was installed and up and running, we created a task. And then we created a profile. And then, of course, lastly, I showed you what that looked like in action. That's the end of the video, guys. Uh, if you haven't checked out Tasker yet uh, for your Android devices, definitely check it out. Tons of cool stuff you can do with it. And again, I want to thank everybody that has donated to my Buy Me a Coffee link. I really appreciate it. Every little bit helps. If you like the video, please subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or comments, hit me up in the comments below. As always, if there are any videos out there that you would like to see that I don't already have out there, let me know in the comments as well, and I'll see if I can't get something put together for you. Otherwise, I'll see you guys around. Thanks.